Hey traders, hope you guys are doing well today. So in this video guys, I just want to talk about why retail traders are failing in these markets. Just a few things you can do to basically improve your trading and also to um, make trading more enjoyable. Actually to increase your win rate and also lower your risk. So just a few little hacks that you can use. So stay tuned guys. So in yesterday's video that I dropped on using this risk management tool and how you can get it for free. This EA over here in the corner. Um, I'm just going to show you guys how to use it uh, like a lot more effectively, basically like a risk management hack and how you how you can use it to increase your your win rate, literally double your win rate, and also reduce your trading psychology, or like Im improve your trading psychology like drastically. I just want to show you guys how you can use this. So this trade over here, this is on a demo account. I did take this trade on a live account as well, but I left. I took this, took another trade on this demo account at the exact same level, just to to do a bit more testing on this. I have been used doing this for quite a long time, but I'm I'm just doing further testing it in, to this by using this risk uh, calculator. So how this basically works is, if you look at this trade over here, you'll see that <clears throat> the market will often give you a a signal to go short or long so you can see this tweezer top with this bearish engulfing candle and now traders will enter at the level that i entered here but what will happen is okay so let's put uh, in the normal scenario traders would put their stop sorry this is the they'll basically sorry they'll enter here okay then they'll put their stop loss just above the high of the candle and then they'll, you know, set their take profit down here, right? And then they'll they'll place the the order, okay, using this at one percent risk. So if we actually do that, now let's remove. So you'll see now if we get stopped at at this level over here, you'll see that we'll be losing a thousand dollars, which is one percent. Now you can see over here by having the stop loss higher, we're also losing a thousand dollars, right? Price hits uh, take profit based on on this on the trade that I'm sh that I've just placed. We'll make two thousand seven hundred dollars, and if it hits the trade that I'm currently in, it'll make two thousand four hundred dollars. But the risk, the risk is still the same. It's still one percent, and it's still one percent. So this is the pending order. Okay, and this is the, the live trade stop loss. Uh, the point I'm making is it doesn't matter where you put your stop loss, 1% is 1%, right? And what you can do is a lot of traders, you'll find that the market will always do these funny things where it pushes just above highs and then, and then drops. You can see it in multiple uh, scenarios. <clears throat> I'll just show you. Same thing here. You'll, you might take this as a signal, then price will drop. And then move. Exact same thing over here. Price will give you a signal, it'll drop, it'll stop you out and then move. Same thing here. You'll, you'll get a signal to go short, price will push up, stop you out, and then the big move will happen. And it just happens over and over again. Yeah, price will give you a signal, price will push up, stop you out, and then drop. So what to do, how do you avoid this? The point I'm making is <clears throat> Always set your risk, you know, at one percent or less. But instead of you having a normal stop just above the high, what I'm saying is double your stop loss. <clears throat> so let's say, for example, this stop loss was forty-six points. And you can see the stop loss that I'm actually using is ninety-seven points, but it's still one percent risk. So what this will allow you, what this will do is it'll 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 help your trading psychology because it'll allow the market to actually breathe before making its move, right? If it stops you out, it stops you out, but it gives you a lot more breathing room in the market. But as you can see, it's still 1% risk. Okay, in this example, if we had entered here, if we had this trade running, you know, we would have got stopped out and we would have got frustrated. <clears throat> so all you got to do is basically double your stop loss. Maybe even more, maybe you know, increase it by 120% or something like that. So slightly more than double. <clears throat> but then your take profit, you're going to have to increase. So if you see 
if you look at this trade here, well, the original trade, it's basically a 1 to 2.5 risk to reward. So we're risking 97 pips there. And down to here, we, we'd make 232 pips. That's so basically a 1 to 2.3. So here you can see if we are, this pending order got triggered. If we had entered there, it would have been 44 pips stop loss. And it would have been uh, 130 pips. And that's basically a 1 to 3. Okay, so the way that we we have it currently, you'll see that the market, you'll see that this the market basically tagged me in. It went all the way up here. I actually thought I was going to get stop loss. Uh, put, thought my stop was going to be hit, and then it just dropped. All right, I'm letting this trade play out. I'm just going to see what's going to happen to this actual trade. But what you can do is at a one to one, you know, you can take 80 percent of your profits off, and then leave. You know, so for example, you could take off a 0 0.25, close 0 0.25 at a 1 to 1, and then leave you know, 0 0.07 to actually run on to, you know, your say to a 1 to 3 risk to reward. What I'm saying is always keep your risk the same, but increase your stop loss just to give you that extra bit of breathing room. Because the market does funny things, you know. But obviously, you want to be trading at levels. So the reason why I took this trade was you can see, you can see over here, price has basically come up to this support level. It's just banging its head up against the support line. You can see this was a support, and over here it was a support, and it turned into a resistance. You can see price is just battling to break this this area. That was the reason for the trade. But price, unfortunately pushed a little bit higher but because my stop loss was you know, a lot wider but it's still one percent risk so that's allowed me to actually be in a profitable trade it'll also allow me to move my stop loss when price does go in your favor you can always move your stop loss to break even okay guys so a little um a little update here into the trade you can see how price has bounced off this uh, support structure over here looking left Okay, so what I could do now is you see I'm, you can see I'm up one thousand one hundred and sixty dollars. See that it's more than a one to one. Okay, so if I remove this, you can see that it's a, it's more than a one to one. So what I could do now is I could close out. We close out zero point two five. Okay, so I've closed out majority of the profits. I'm also going to move my stop loss now to break even into profit. I'll actually put it into profit to cover the spreads and everything. Now you can see I can leave this this little bit here to actually run. So I've covered the uh, majority of the trade because it's, it's it was more than a one to one. You could take actually more like a one to one point two one to one point two zero. So I've covered my risk basically. So at a one to one, if I had closed at zero point well, 75 percent of the trade it wouldn't have covered my risk that's why i closed out well that's why i closed out uh, 75 percent of the trade once it got to a 1.120 uh, risk risk to reward and i can leave the rest of this trade to actually run on to tp and you can see this 225 dollars i can work out to another now i can make another or 200 dollars so it'll be 534 or i can even chase it down lower so yeah guys that's the beauty of of using this and uh you know this is how you can do it this is how you can trade in real life but just by having that breathing room at the top you know, just by having this just by having this breathing room much more of a bit of a breathing room from your entry it just allows those little fluctuations before price actually moves in your favor Catch you in the next one, guys. If you want me to make more videos on this one, then I will on this type of thing. Let me know in the comments. Cheers, guys.